So let's talk on comfort zones. We all love those comfort zones, but it keeps us in that fixed mindset state and not in a growth mindset state. So when we're in a comfort zone, we might be procrastinating and unproductive. We then think about, oh, I have to tackle that thing, or I have to prepare my public talk, or I have to, that issue that I have to face, that, that conversation, that difficult conversation, I don't want to. So we move then into the fear zone. Oh, I'm feeling afraid and I'm feeling awkward and how am I gonna do it? But then as we move past that fear zone, we move into the learning zone. Yes, I can do it. This is what I'm gonna do. I can read up about it. I can do some research. And then what happens is we move into the growth zone. And you know what's cool? Is that that comfort zone then extends into the growth zone. So the growth zone then becomes your comfort zone. Yes, then you're winning. So it's like lifting weights. Ugh, being uncomfortable is good for you, right? Ugh, because we must be uncomfortable in order to grow and learn. Like if I do this, my bicep's gonna grow. If you wanna become stronger physically, you gotta lift the weights, and the weights that are heavy. If you wanna improve your writing skills, you should write more often, uh, rather than just sit at home all day watching Netflix. If you always stay in your comfort zone and avoid situations where you might fail or be uncomfortable, then there's no way for you to grow as an individual. In the army, uh, they are well known saying, get comfortable being uncomfortable. And as a way to help even in corporate team members to grow and achieve the impossible, this is a great formula. Yoga teachers will often say, get uncomfortable and stay in the pose and breathe. And then eventually the uncomfortable becomes comfortable, if not enjoyable. Um, and in this way, we can extend our comfort zone and the things that were difficult now become our default. So what can we do? Number one, take risks and challenge yourself by doing uncomfortable things. Number two, try new things like a new food or new activity. Number three, explore new experiences even if they are different to what you are used to. And number four, get comfortable with discomfort in social settings. Five, get comfortable being different. Six, get comfortable challenging beliefs, ideas, or opinions of yourself and others. And seven, we can make a list of five activities every morning that make us feel uncomfortable. Write them down, what makes me feel uncomfortable? I have a friend who is, um, again, a yoga teacher, and I suffer through yoga. When I try and stretch or Pilates, I feel the pain. But he's been doing it for so long that he says, no, Mark, when I do it, I feel absolute bliss. So you see how he went from comfort zone, fear zone, learning zone to growth zone until it became his default. And I know a lot of smokers, when they started smoking, it was horrible, but they pushed on through, right? And then they started to enjoy it. Now don't smoke. That's a horrible <laughs> habit to develop, but I'm just saying anything that's uncomfortable, we can make comfortable. We can extend that comfort zone until it becomes our default zone. And that's the message today of growing our comfort zones and why it's so important for your resilience and for your tenacity.